Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making the Futurama Planet Express ship. This ship is a cool, kind of somewhat simple looking ship, but it's it's obviously cool, you know, for an animation that we used to all watch or some of us, you know, some of us oldies out there. Um, it was a, a good animation. I'm not sure if they're still doing it or not, but I, I assume it's finished by now, right? But I'll have to check. Anyway, the ship is quite interesting. Um, I was looking online and apparently it, it has the, all these features that I wasn't really aware of. Like for instance, apparently apparently there's a winch with a magnet on the end which deploys from the cargo hold and then there's a laser turret, which you know about. A, 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 a draft net of some sort, submersible conversion, no idea what that is. Uh, all these unusual features, drill on the nose, I don't have a drill for that. <laughs> We don't have jewels yet, but maybe in the future. And there's like heaps of rooms. Um, there's like a, obviously the ship brain room, laundry room, lion den, so many things. There's a panic room. Well, I think the whole ship in KSB is a bit of a panic room. But I mean, you know, I couldn't really <laughs> do all those things for this build. So, you know, it's all just uh, everything else is uh, internally nothing like the actual cartoon version. But hey, at least on the outside, I've, I've tried to do my best. And um, this is indeed an SSTO as per the probably title. It's it, and we actually have some leftover fuel as well when you get it up into orbit. So that's uh, nice to see. The engines that we're using, they are overall we're using the just normal whiplash engines at the back there. Total of four, and then we have those new nuclear engines. Um, those things have a good amount of thrust actually, so I quite like them. But they're they're kind of hidden inside. And this is one of the early flights, test flights with the wings. Um, I had to obviously put the wheels a little bit back because everything seems to be slowly chopped off or shredded away as we fly. Um, and this is the, the final, well, almost final version. A little bit bouncy, as you can see. That was, that kind of gave me a bit of an idea for a future build. Uh, you know, there's something in Australia that happens to bounce a lot, wink, wink. Um, I uh, won't spoil too much, but anyway, this here is the actual final build, and I think I'm kind of happy with it. The the obviously the cartoon version does have like these, I guess, landing gears of sort. Um, I do recall that maybe they're retractable, but you know we you know in KSP it doesn't really look anything like the cartoon version. So I've just done a bit of a time warping here because it took a while to get into a, a high orbit, and you see here this is where I've activated those nuclear engines. So the, the, all that thrust is basically hitting the jet engine and, every, and everything. So I, I guess if I had the overheating visuals on, certainly the whole back part would be overheating. So, you know, I can't promise whether this craft is going to be working in the future. So what I think I'll do is in the future, I will we'll revisit probably a lot of the builds that we've done. And, you know, I'll go ahead and update those and, and fix them to be more compatible with whatever future versions there are. So... That's something we're gonna have to do. And finally, we are pretty much at a, you know, high altitude. We're not 100% um, in orbit there, but yeah, there was one little issue with, strangely, the, the ship keeps trying to pull upwards. So I did end up adding RCS into this thing as well. For So if you do download this and you wanna try it out, there is RCS, just, I'd, I'd recommend to keep that on when you get into a high altitude. And yeah, I know the wing there, the way the control surface doesn't look very good, how it's kind of popping out, but I don't know, is, I was wondering, is there a way to kind of disable that in space? I mean, you can right click it and disable and maybe make an action group, but I mean, it's not really useful in space, right? I don't know, maybe that's something we're going to have to figure out. So anyway, I'm going to ask you a question. If you have watched Futurama, who is your favorite character? I think most people would say Bender, and I know I would agree, because I guess Bender is probably the most chill kind of character, just kind of easygoing and everything. Fry is, you know, well, most many of these characters are obviously dense, but that's how it goes, right? It's, uh, but still great entertainment, obviously. And with this ship, I had to kind of burn and then reposition, burn and then reposition, because <laughs> it kept lifting up. So this is before I ended up adding RCS to it. So yeah, if you do fly it, you shouldn't have as much of a pain as I did. But yeah, that was, that was a bit annoying. As you could see, just had to do this many times. But 
you know, you can see there we have a fair amount of fuel remaining, so it's more than enough to get into orbit. It's just this little painful process. And we have achieved the orbit. Fantastic. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, I did get a few points made. Other, you know, someone mentioned the back part with the engines. Like, we could have put a bigger cover, maybe. But I, I did try it, but it looks a bit awkward with a bigger cover. So, eh, I guess if we had smaller engines that would, you know, were equally as powerful as what we're using there then maybe I could have done that. Or maybe I could have changed instead of using the nuclear uh, engines, we could have used something else. So that's that's an idea for the future. And here we are, I was just testing the, um, the mag boots, which is a fantastic feature. I didn't really realize it. I mean, maybe I guess I did in the, in the first episode, but I thought that was nothing. But yeah, look, you know, these boots, they're stuck to the craft. That's, that's a really useful feature. Although it doesn't seem to be perfect, because once you go over a little bump, you kind of get um, shot into space a little, as you can see here, we're just kind of slowly floating upwards. Yeah. So, anyway, um, the ship overall, when you actually open it, it kind of looks a bit nice, in my opinion. It's a bit freaky looking, but... Yeah. Anyway, I, there is a bit of an issue as well with the color palette, because when you choose uh, uh, one color and then a second color, you it's... There's no way to kind of match it equally except for just manually. Um, maybe I've got to check the actual, you know, the J JSON file. Maybe there's a way to change it in there, but we'll see. Anyway, um, download links in the description. Hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed. See you next time. Take care.